So let's talk about another relationship. So from the fact that we have a right triangle within the unit circle and a coordinate point, we developed all of these ideas, right? And that's cool. But if you guys remember, actually, before we even talked about trigonometry, because remember, you can only apply sine, cosine, tangent to right triangles, right? That's the only thing we talked about. It has to have that right angle. What else could we use when we have a right triangle? This is something we talked about actually in the beginning. What else is something you can only do with right triangles? Starts with a P and rhymes with Pythagorean. Pythagorean theorem, right? So let's go ahead and write this relationship using the Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus y squared equals 1 squared, which is just 1. That's kind of interesting, right? Now, based on we have this understanding for x and we have this understanding for y, can't we go ahead and also rewrite this? Yes, hello? No. My computer is actually insane. Sorry about that. That is really odd. The one time, actually, I <laughs> you guys are using that. Oops, I'm going to use theta. Sorry. Anybody have a problem with it? I just replaced x with sine of theta. I'm sorry, I replaced x with cosine of theta and y with sine of theta. Now, this isn't technically how you're going to see it. There's nothing wrong with this, but this isn't how you're typically going to see it written. You're going to see it written like this. OK? Now, there is something that's very important, guys. Cosine of theta squared is equal to cosine squared of theta, not cosine of theta squared. Because remember, guys, you've got to understand the trigonometric functions. It's a trigonometric, it's a function of something, right? It's sine of something. So for instance, if I said, like, what is the cosine of um, square root of, sorry, cosine of pi over 6, That's squared, right? Cosine of pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2. That squared is going to be 3 over 4. And then, or if I did it this way, that's cosine of pi over 6. That just means the same thing. So that's, again, 3 over 4. But if you write it like this, this is cosine of pi over 6 squared which is the cosine of pi squared over 36. That's a completely different problem. So do not put the squared at the end. When you are squaring at the end, you're squaring the angle. We're not squaring the angle. We're squaring the function. right? Always think about it. The function is being squared, not the angle. So that's cosine of. So it's cosine squared of the angle. Another way to think about that is when I say square root of 1 plus x, times the square root of 1 plus x. We're not squaring the inside, right? The, when you fit, get your final answer, your answer is 1 plus x. Right? It's not. Um, uh, it's not 1 plus x squared. You're not squaring that 1 plus x, because it, basically it's being un, the square is being undone. You're squaring. It's not the, not the 1 plus x squared. You're thinking about that, but that's being undone. So here's our trigonometric function, or at least our Pythagorean identity, I'm sorry. Now, can we rewrite? Now, if you guys notice in our reciprocal functions, we have everything covered. Sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, cotangent. Everything's covered. But for our Pythagorean, we only have cosine and sine. Do you guys think it's possible that I could maybe redo this so therefore everybody gets to be included? Like we can make the Pythagorean relationship for cosine and secant and stuff like that? Do you think we should probably do that and let them have a little fun too? Right? We probably should, right? And there's actually some great um, constructions we can do to show that. But to save us some time, I'll just give you guys the quick way. The quick way to do this, guys, is just divide by a trigonometric function. Let's do cosine.
So first of all, is it OK if I divide everything by cosine squared of theta? Is that legal? That is legal. As long as you are treating every term equally, right? that's legal. That's fine. So cosine squared of theta divided by cosine squared of theta. Well, guess what? I don't really care what that is. It's the same quantity over the same quantity, right? So that's easy to come up with. Sine squared of theta over cosine squared of theta. Well, sine over cosine is tangent. So sine squared over cosine squared of theta would be tangent squared. And 1 over cosine of theta is secant. So 1 over cosine squared of theta would be, I'll say it again. 1 over cosine of theta is secant. So 1 over cosine squared of theta would be secant squared. Okay, that's number two. Now, to save us some time, what if we would have done sine? Cosine over sine would have been cotangent squared of theta. Sine over sine would have been 1. 1 over sine would have been cosecant. Okay, those are your three Pythagorean identities. Um, now, the good news for you guys on this one is that cheat sheet that I talked to you guys about, 